What's good, YouTube? Because of Carvey here. So, we're going to finish the night out with a request from way back. This is, we have Kate Saberano, John Farnham, and John Stevens. Everything's all right. This is from Jesus Christ Superstar. We have done a song off of this before, and I was blown away. Now, we do have right here our description of this right here which is important we need to cover this all right check this out it says this is a ballad sung by yvonne Eliman with the women's choir jesus ian gillen and judas murray head have their own discussion to which mary magdalene's soothing and comforting words respond song describes the events of john 12 1 through 9 in which mary magdalene bathes jesus's feet in expensive perfume and judas iscariot objects claiming the perfume ought to have been sold and the money given to the poor john claims in his gospel that judas did not actually care for the poor but instead wanted mary to sell her perfume because he controlled the money bag jesus defends mary telling judas you will always have the poor but you will not always have me similar events occur in mark 26 6 through 13 and matthew 14 3 through 9 but only john attributes the comments to judas specifically mark says some of those present and matthew attributes the comments to the disciples all right so that is the section of the story that this song is based on. I just wanted to cover that. That helps everything make sense a whole lot. That's the conversation we're going to be having is Mary bathing Jesus' Jesus's feet. And then we have Judas who is upset about it because he believes that the perfume needs to be sold and money given to the poor. All right. Okay. So, now that we know that, and we also have the quote from Jesus, you will always have the poor, but you will not always have me. That is powerful right there. That is a, that is a statement right there, right? <laughs> so, now that we know the context, I would like to see how they are going to put this in song format. It's always interesting to see how they do things like that when it comes to actual text right especially like a biblical text it's really interesting whenever we get into the stories in a song format i love that john was a part of the jesus christ superstar thing he did a really good job on that last one that we did from jesus christ superstar it's one of my favorites that we've done by john so we have two other artists that we haven't had on the channel i do not believe i don't think we've had either one of them on the channel before so two more new artists on the channel today we have been flying into some new artists this week i really appreciate all of the new artists you guys have recommended we have more to do by them as well some of you left some comments for more songs by them that you like as well so i added those onto our list we'll get to them i promise we'll get to everything it's a long list man there well there's more than one actually you guys know that there's more than one list so way back thank you for your request if you guys are new here go ahead and subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation stage performance this one's gonna be epic i already know it we got three people coming together to tell a story from jesus's life in a song format and i absolutely love that it's epic that they decided to do this and that, that, that John was involved in it, right? Like I already said, the first one that we did from this by John blew me away. He absolutely killed it. So we're not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get into this one for you. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or three. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Kate Saberano, John Farnham, John Stevens. Everything's all right. Awesome outfit. I like the colors. If we try, we'll get by, so forget all about us tonight. Look at John. Yes, 
Okay, so we have Mary Magdalene here. Try not to get worried. Try not to turn on to problems that upset you. Saying, don't focus on the problems. Don't focus on the negativity. Don't worry. Know that everything is going to be all right. As the title of the song says, don't you know everything's all right? Everything's fine. We want you to sleep well tonight. Let the world turn without you tonight. If we try, we'll get by, so forget all about us tonight, is what it says. So, <clears throat> what we have here is this basically saying, you deserve some rest, everything's okay, don't worry about it, don't press yourself about all of these problems that upset you, and being worried about everything, saying, go be with yourself, sleep well, the world can turn, we will survive, that's what it's saying, that's what it's saying right here. I like that. That's an awesome message inside of those lyrics. And we have the Apostles Women is what that section of the backing vocalists were labeled as. Apostles Women. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. I love it so far. When I shall soothe you, calm you, and anoint you, for your heart, forehead, then you feel everything's all right. Yes, everything's fine. Kicked into it here. That was about to ascend very much so. That was a drop out of nowhere right there. I like that. Her voice is awesome. Kate has an awesome voice. I really like it. It's a very wispy, pretty sounding voice. The way she carries it is very elegant. I like that. It said, sleep and I shall soothe you, calm you and anoint you. Myrrh for your hot forehead and then you'll feel everything's all right. Mm, Myrrh for your hot forehead. Man, favor, right? Got a favor, huh? Sleep and I shall soothe you, calm you, and anoint you. That is beautiful, man. I like that. It's cool and the ointment's sweet. Wow, that is a nice descriptor right there. For the fire in your head and feet. Close your eyes, close your eyes, and relax. Think of nothing tonight. That is comforting right there. That's just Mary being comforting, right? Mary has a comforting side to her presence and wants the rest to occur right she's like you're tired you need to rest allow me to soothe you and allow me to help you to feel better you have been through a lot you need to rest right and that's what mary's saying here beautiful man oh voice right there that's john stevens there powerful man i like that so this is judas's section the lyrics for this were woman your fine anointment brand new and expensive could have been saved for the poor why has it been wasted we could have raised maybe 300 silver pieces or more beautiful beautiful way to put that into lyrics very very great storytelling in lyric fashion here i like it syllable placement on point with rhyme schemes and everything i like it people who are hungry people who are starving matter more than your feet and hair he says <laughs> Yes, you would not be incorrect in that statement. You would not be incorrect in that statement, but situationally, right? <laughs> situationally, you have to consider the journey, the roughness, the exhaustion, <laughs> the pain, <laughs> right? A moment of comfort is rewarded, right? That is earned right there in Mary is not going to have it, right? <laughs> right? Mary is not going to have it when it comes to that. 
because she realizes this needs to be a moment of comfort and a moment of solace while it can happen. The world will still turn for a moment if we allow you to rest. You need this rest so you can be your best for us. And Mary recognizes that. Amazing right here. To get worried, try not to turn on to problems that upset you. Don't you know everything's all right? Yes, everything's fine. And we want you to sleep well tonight. Let the world turn without you tonight. Man. If we try, we'll get by, so forget all about us tonight. Man. Mm. We have the resources to save the poor from their lot. Yes. There will be poor always pathetically struggling. Look at the good things you got. Think why you still have me. Move why you still see me. You'll be lost and you'll be so sorry. Well, mm. Wow, John. Whew. That note. That was an amazing note right there. John, leave it to John, man. He's always on it. And the other John has a very powerful voice as well. Everybody here playing an amazing part for the character they represent in this story. So John, obviously playing the role of Jesus here, says... Surely you're not saying we have the resources to save the poor from their life. <laughs> he said, are you telling me that we could afford it even? That's what he's saying there. He's like, we need that, so, that 300 just as much as them at this point, right? That's kind of what's being said here is like, you're not saying we couldn't save them. We don't have all the resources to provide for every single one of the ones of them on the lot. We could maybe select a few and help them out, but certainly not all of them is what's being said here. It's like a, see, that's that realization right there, putting it into perspective. There will be poor always, pathetically struggling. Look at the good things you've got. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he says there will be poor always, and I mean, if you really consider, sometimes <clears throat> that's due to economical situations that people are born into. Other times, it's caused by a person's own actions and not applying themselves to something that was going to get them somewhere, right? So you have to take it both ways, like accountability is what Jesus is talking about here in one sense, and also saying, due to the free will of man, and man's ability to crave power and build these structures, poor will be there because these things are allowed, because of the free will and the independent thought that you have. Poor will exist because decisions can be made that are poor decisions. See what I mean? That's the that's the analogy that's happening inside of here. Look at the good things you've got, he says. He says, be glad that you're sitting with me, essentially. That's what he's saying. <laughs> he's like, why are you complaining right now? You're with me. That's what he's saying. Think while you still have me. Move while you still see me. You'll be lost. You'll be so sorry when I'm gone, he says says, do not lose me. He's saying, do you not realize that just being here with me in itself favors you more than another situation that you could be in? He's saying, so, stop the complaining, is what he's saying. Like, really, that's the, that's the blunt end of the message there, is be grateful, and humans have to take accountability also for their own poor decisions that might lead them to being poor in some instances, right? And then, obviously, like I said, the people who 
are genuinely struggling and have been put in bad positions by circumstances out of their control, those are the ones that you want to go out and help the most is those ones that really, truly need it. Because, like I said, some of it's lack of accountability and bad decision-making when people end up in those places. And that's the unfortunate reality of it. You have to face the reality of it that not everybody wants to save their self. That's the thing. Not everybody wants to save their self. Sometimes they're out there because they don't want to put the effort in to fix it. And that's very unfortunate and sad. And you don't want to see anybody in that position. But you can't, like I said, you can't save a person from their self unless they want to save their self. And they have to take the action to do that. That's what this is all about right here. I really appreciate the message in this. Yes. Yes. Man. I love that they're just going back and forth, right? With the chanting kind of everything's all right right everything's all right yes in the background beating that into the sound wave right over and over again it starts to give you the vibration of that statement being true the more and more times you hear that close your eyes close your eyes and relax you literally start to naturally obey the command. That's the point of this section of the song right here. They're showing that just in doing something like this with a section of a song, you could lull a person into that state of relaxation. And that's proof of how simple it is to actually sit there all the time. Right? You have to find that part of yourself. And relax. Close your eyes and relax. Everything's going to be all right. And like I said, the way they approach this section of the song to make it so that it actually will pull you into that state with the sound of it. It's a very relaxing sound and the message starts to resonate the more your ears hear it. I love it. It really is like a brain massage. <laughs> Brain massages are a nice thing when it comes to music. That's what I call it whenever music makes you feel good inside. It's like you're healing your brain with frequency, essentially. Very, very healing frequencies, and they're positive to go listen to, right? It's awesome whenever you actually take the time to do that and feel the way the energy shifts inside of yourself just based on the frequency that you involve yourself with music wise or just the frequency kind of videos and stuff like binaural kind of stuff those things you would be amazed at how relaxed you can get yourself throughout your day just doing that and resonating with that and they're doing that with this section of the song right here i appreciate this this is really well done
from the show and you know when they actually get in the theater you actually do you, you actually warm up with uh, amazing what's that thing's name what's it, what's its name i know it has a name maybe he'll say it in grace which you were doing little can we get a little bit of that we can just get it on the boom you don't have to use the hand mics will start it off where you go what, what key do we do it uh, uh, oh, no. there we go, oh, there we go. <laughs> impromptu go for it <coughs> give us a c will you willie <laughs> uh, just the one will do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice impromptu right there. I love it. <laughs> there you are, an impromptu. Uh, amazing Grace, of course. Uh, amazing Grace, not in the not in the show. That could be another single, though. They, they do, <laughs> um, and maybe another musical. Uh, no, 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 net. Yes, same cast for no, 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 net coming to you in another few weeks' time. Meanwhile, <laughs> we're going to take a break. Let's just thank all the cast all right. and the superstar. Shout we're out to here. everybody, man. That was awesome. And we might uh, pass the plate around. While all right, I think we are good here, right? I love it. We're all good, man. That is awesome. What a performance this was. I love the way they told that story lyrically. They did a very, very good job with this. I really appreciated this one a whole lot. Very awesome, man. John, powerful voice as always. He hit that high note. That high note was amazing. Other John, John Stevens, had that rock and roll rasp, perfectly fitting for a Judas character. Very well selected, even with the tones of the voices. Mary Magdalene, played by Kate. Very wispy, comforting, soft, and pretty voice. Perfect, perfect selection for these characters here. I really, really enjoyed this performance a lot. Thank you, Wayback, for this request. I appreciate you guys tuning in. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Kate, John, and other John as well. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get this music out into the world related to our lives. We got to have an awesome, wholesome discussion about the story of Jesus getting his feet washed and a lesson was learned inside of that we got to talk about the lesson inside of that and i really appreciate that we got to do that tonight so thank you again way i liked this a lot very awesome hope you guys enjoyed tonight's videos if you're going through anything reach out for help don't ever be scared to reach out for help man we all need it sometimes there's nothing wrong with it please take care of yourselves i hope you guys have a blessed night i appreciate you tuning in i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or three Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Have a beautiful one. Thank you for everything. Peace.